Hello and welcome to this video about the name NAC D3 or CD3 as it is also known. Uh, this is really famous for having two things. It's a uh, Philips CDM9 swing arm mechanism. It's a magnetically driven one, so it's sort of like frictionless. And also having um, Philips TDI uh, 1541A S1 uh, DAC. Philips first uh, 16 pin DAC. Well, this unit um, sort of worked when it arrived in my workshop, but only worked on half of the CD. You see, what happened was that um, the spindle was a bit crooked and therefore it made turntable wobble. As you can see now, it wobbles still. Now, what happened was that the CD would play about halfway, but the further it went away from the outer circumference, well, then the harder it would be for it to do, and, and probably around the uh, 60th minute it would just stop playing and lose its focus. So, um, I first started, I knew that the, that's the mechanical problem I need to do, but then I I needed to recap it because those players, particularly with the capacitors close to regulators there, you know, basically all that area needs to be redone. Most often those two are also culprits because they sit next to this regulator, but the other ones sort of do not suffer uh, that much. There's a whole row of those 10 micro. These are Rubicon capacitors which are normally good. So you see all these were within specs, but the six here were or put some of them underneath, were bad. Some of them, you know, like 70 or 80 ohms instead of one or two. So after doing the electronics, I turned back to this and because the owner sent me a spare unit, he really wants that fixed no matter what. And I understand why. I mean, this is the first ever that has a um, transport screw, original remote, never seen those before. He has original box here with, uh, you know, there's a hole for the uh, DIN socket. So it, it's really nice and original player. So he sent me a spare. So I just transferred the mechanism from the other one. So this is the, the one from the unit that, you know, had a turntable pushed in and was spinning backwards in the other player. So I put it in here and, and it works fine. See, read the table of contents, and if we now play um, a CD with uh, errors, the two hardest tracks are track number 8 and 15. Um, I suppose I better do the, select the right um, uh, source, and track 15, oh, it plays well. So, that is basically a test for a CD player. Place that it means it's fixed. But of course when you look at the side of it, it wobbles. It wobbles uh, still quite a lot. So both of them actually suffer from similar fault. But whereas uh, it wasn't going to play um, with the other mechanism, it plays here well. And of course this, uh, somebody asked me what discs do I use. This is a Technics CDT-016 that has interruption data layer of um, 0.9 or up to, up to 0.9 of a millimeter and that's unavailable now. Currently you can get this Burosh made in Germany CD, it costs about $80 to, to, to get it and that has even greater errors. So, but what I have here is a CDR. You can see how it, uh, how the disc wobbles. And also, on top of that, the hole is too big. You see, the other CD, the other CD is, it says qualified by techniques. This is really hand-checked that it meets specifications. It's not just comes off production line. So let's see what it will do. This is a 90-minute CDR. You see, this is what happened. That's what I want to show. This is what happens when the hole is too big and you have a puck that is just has three little magnets there. Those three points are, are the ones, actually the magnet is there and there's just bits of metal. 
but he still read the table of contents. So um, to end its suffering, um, I should put a proper clamp. And um, you see now, it reads it no problem at all, without any uh, wobbles. So let's go, this is the 90 minutes, let's go to track 9, this is the furthest I can go on that, um, with that remote. It will get there eventually, and it's playing. Put a bit louder. So we can go to next track, and next track. And this track has uh, 7 minutes, So I'm trying to, uh, I'll change the display. Now we can go fast to the seventh minute. So we are talking here the end of 90 minutes. Um, and it still plays all right. You see 6.22. And you can see, you can see how badly it is crooked, yet this player still reads it well. Now the question is, should I replace the motor for it, try to source CDM9 and its motor, or is it really a fixed player? Because it plays, any CD plays 90 minutes CDRs, so is it fixed or is it not? Please tell me what you think about it. Alright, till the next one.